Let's turn this crib into a bed. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Clueless Dad. Today we're gonna to take this Sunvig crib from Ikea and we're gonna turn it into a toddler bed. In other words, we're gonna take this side off. So hopefully when you got it or when you bought it secondhand or whatever, you got this piece, uh, which it should have come with. Um, it's basically just a replacement for this entire side. So first you wanna take your mattress and any bedding out, of course. Um, in this case, you don't have to flip the crib up. You just have to use your four millimeter hex head Allen wrench that it came with or any other four millimeter size uh, and basically unscrew from both sides, uh, the top and bottom, and then screw this guy in. And so this guy actually has two sets of holes here. So you use the same hardware and the same, those little nut sleeve things and basically uh, just screw it in here. So there's a plastic plug which blocks the hole here that you're gonna be using in the new position. So you're gonna take that and actually put it up here to plug up the hole that will now be here. Three, two, one, go. And now you have to take these dowel pins and put them into that other plank. So you gotta basically pull them out. It's not that hard. Just might need some pliers or just have really good fingers. Okay, so next up uh, we have to put the dowel pins into this plank. And uh, the question is, which ones do they go in? Well, it's pretty obvious actually, if you notice where these holes are, those are the, for the nut sleeves, these metal things, which basically the uh, bolts will screw into. So if that one is there, that's basically lined up here. This one obviously goes into the slightly larger hole. Actually, I think you'd have to try really hard to jam it into the wrong one, but basically it fits in relatively loosely on this particular one. Um, this one's a little bit tighter, something like that. Um, and then we get another nut sleeve and this guy will screw in if you have it lined up right. And as long as the uh, flathead is basically pointed parallel to the plank, it should go into the hole and sort of self-align, so it's like that. So anyway, I uh, I shouldn't put these in now because by the time I get that in, they'll probably fall out, but uh, you get the idea. Okay, so let's put this in place. We wanna get these dowel pins into the appropriate holes here on the side. Uh, since we have the dowel pins, we don't need to worry about the bolts right now. The key thing is, uh, you probably should put these in now and just be very careful so they don't fall out. So uh, these are gonna face towards the inside and just don't tip it forward and it should stay in. Let's just line it up and without pulling this apart so the bottom falls out. Uh, just try to get all the dowel pins in uh, without screwing anything up. So let's do this one first. Okay, so here we are, it's all in place, just needs the bolts. Um, one key thing is if you do pull the two sides too far apart to get those pins in, uh, this bottom uh, plank might come loose. So just be careful and don't let it get too far out. And if it does, just make sure that you kind of get it lined up before you squeeze everything back in and then we'll tighten the screws. Okay, okay, here we are, not too bad. Should take you less than 10 minutes. Just make sure you have all your tools ready. Four millimeter hex head, Phillips screwdriver, and maybe a flat bladed screwdriver. And also, um, if the dowel pins are tough, you might need some pliers, so just get those ready in advance. Uh, that's basically, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you have a other kind of crib besides the Sunvig, this may or may not apply to you. I don't know if they all come with the optional side. I think some of the cheaper ones don't, but uh, probably there's a bunch that do. The ones that don't have drawers should basically be about the same. Okay, so that's it for today. See you next time. Bye. You know, having the stroller with me all the time up in the overhead bin, as soon as we get off the plane, pull it out, unfold it, and walk off. You know, literally, that could save you 15, 20 minutes right there.